Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be creating angel centerpieces. Let's go ahead and start. Now we're on design space. Let's go ahead to the left hand side. We click on images. We're going to type in what we're looking for. We're going to type in angel and cross. Let's hit enter. If you already purchased the images or uploaded or uploaded them, what I do just go to filter and click on uploaded and this is the angel and the cross we click on the images you'll be using you'll see them on the bottom of the screen insert images once we do that let's go ahead and size our images click on the image you'll be sizing unlock the width of the cross will be six inches and the height will be eight and we lock it. The angel will be five by seven. Click on the image, unlock, width will be five and height will be seven. And go ahead and lock it. Now, I'm making two angels and two crosses per centerpiece. So what I'm going to do is duplicate this angel and duplicate the cross. And what I'm going to do is change the colors. That way, when I go to cut on my next screen, I'll know what color cardstock to upload, to load to my machine. I'm sorry. Now, let's change the colors. On the first one, let's go ahead and click on the image, and let's get our colors. You'll see right here on your right-hand side, let's click on the back one the back cross which is the first layer go right here in between line type and fill and let's change the color to white the next one will be the second layer go to your right hand side click on that cross and that will be a baby blue and then the cross on top the first layer well the third layer it's white Okay, once you do that, go ahead and highlight your image. Well, just move it to the side. No need to do anything else. Now, we're going to do the same for this one. With the angel, Let's change the body of the angel, which is not gray. It'll be white. On your right hand side, click on the image you, you want to change the color and just click on the color here in between line type and fill. Now, I don't need the first part of this bow. I'm not going to be using it. So I'm just going to go ahead here in the right hand side and just hide that bow because I don't need those. Uh, those little parts. I don't need, I don't want that bow. So this bow will be baby blue. Click on the image. Go in between line type and fill. This is repetitive and it's pretty simple. Change colors and organize your images. And it remains the same. Why? Because this part of the halo and the wings are gold. Now my second angel, the same thing. Let's go ahead, move this aside, and let's go ahead and get the wording. Okay. For the wording, just go to text on your left-hand side and type in your word, which is sum, enter, miracle, oh, wait, I need a capital M, enter, come, Space in pairs. Some miracles come in pairs. Now let's change the alignment with your wording highlighted. Go to alignment and click on center. Let's go on font. Let's get the font. You just you can choose whatever font you want. So I'm looking for the Hudson one. I like this one. 
Okay, this is the one I'll be using. Now, we have to work on the wording. So what I do is ungroup and just start playing with your letters. Now, let me bring in my grid. It'll be easier if I have my grid. Let's do partial. Okay, that way I know. Okay, it's going to be something like this. Just keep putting them together. Okay, like that. That way when you cut your letters, your wording, it'll be all in one piece, not letter by letter. Okay, we got that one set. Let's highlight that one. Oh, we got to highlight it completely. And let's click on group. Group is just grouping your letters. It does not attach the letters together. We'll go to that part in a minute. I just want it like if I move it around, it'll stay in one place. Just keep on moving your letters. And I'm just going to go ahead and change the color to gold while I'm here. Okay, let's highlight it. I'm just going to group it. And let's go ahead and change the color now. Highlight your wording, go in between line type and fill, and just click on gold. That way you'll know what color cardstock you need. Okay, let me take that eye out. That, the little dot for the eye, I need to move it. So what I do is take the image, take this, the shape on top of the little dot of the eye, highlight the image. I won't be able to do it that way. Let's ungroup. I'm trying to take that dot out. I'm going to have to take that N out first. Where did my circle go? Oh, Jesus. I don't know. What's wrong with my... Let me get my another shape. I'm just trying to get the dot out. Okay, and slice. I'm just slicing the little dot. That's all I need. And the little dot, you put it right, like, on the side. And let's just put this together right here. And let's highlight it. Okay. And okay, let's eliminate this one. Okay, now what I'm going to do is finish playing with this. So we can put it all together. Let's say you want it just like this. And let's put this a little bit bigger. So we can touch the one in the bottom. You just have to play with it, guys. What we're trying to achieve here is... So the letters can touch each other. That way, like I said, it'll cut in one piece. Yeah, it looks pretty decent. Now, let's say we're all done with going the back and forth. You highlight the image and you weld it. Welding your image will weld all the letters together. I'm going to fix it in a minute. Okay, once we do that, let's go ahead. Let me just go ahead and finish fixing it. Let me undo. Okay, guys, once you're done fixing, move it. see, I moved it around. I What I did was I unclicked here the lock and started playing with the letters, playing with the words, put them all together, and then I welded. Once you do that, you have all your images straight, you have all your size, your images sized, we're going to go ahead and click on Make It. Now, there's six centerpieces, and they'll be double-sided. So what I do is I click on 12. Well, not 12 because the wording is going to give you 12. So I'm just going to go ahead and let's cancel. 
let me go back let's hide the wording because we don't need 12 of the wordings but we need 12 of the rest so click on your image go on the right hand side and click on the eye so you can hide it now we go ahead and make it I need 12 because they're gonna be double-sided hit 12 and click on apply okay once you do that you see all of your mats going down here Let's click on continue. Before, I forgot to tell you guys, on the canvas, you have to choose the machine you'll be working with. And I already had mine with the Explorer. So let's just wait until that recognizes my machine. Okay, once it recognizes the machine you'll be cutting with, all the white parts will be with 100 pound cardstock, white cardstock. And then the rest will be with 65 pound cardstock. The gold, it's a, I think I have the heavy one or the, no, I don't have the heavy cardstock. I just have the regular gold cardstock. I think it's 65 pound as well. And the blue will be a 65 pound as well. Now, once you have that set, you go ahead and stick your, your cardstock onto the mat, load it to the machine. You set it up with whatever material you're using. If you're using poster board cardstock, you just turn that dial to whatever material you're using. Load your mat to the machine and press the flash and go button. Once you do all that, once you finish all of these mats, you go ahead and click on cancel. Click on yes to cancel this cut. Click on cancel again. Once you're back at the canvas, now you're going to go ahead and hide the cross and the angels. Let's bring in the wording, which will be a six by five. After you weld and after you move all your letters, then we can go ahead and size it. This one will be a six by five. You go ahead and click on make it. We only need six. It's only going to be one side. So let's click on six and you can fit another one here on the side. So let's just click on this mat, click on the image, the three little dots, move to another mat. Let's move it to the first mat. And we can probably fit the other one as well. I'm not sure. Let me see if I, okay, this one ends, wait. Right here on seven. Let me see if we can. No, we can't. The only three will fit. Okay. If three fits, that's fine. We don't need these two. We only need six. I'm just gonna hide these because what you can do is use just this one. Three. Put it in twice, and you have your six cuts. Now let's click on continue. Okay, once here, remember to change your dial to poster board or cardstock. I'm using, I think I'm going to use the heavy glittered cardstock. I'm not sure yet, but if I do, I'm just going to put it on poster board. I don't know what's going on with my machine today. And follow the same steps. Stick your, card, your poster board cardstock on your mat, load it to your machine, press the flash and go button. Once you do all that, I see you guys back at the table so we can start assembling the centerpieces. Okay, now that we're back at the table, yes, I have a mess here. Now, let's go ahead and start. We have the cutouts, which is the angel body, the cross. This is the back part. And this is the blue one with the back part of the blue one. And this is the other part. We have the other angel. And we have the wings, which are the four wings. And then we have the halo. And the other one is somewhere around in here. Let's set it aside. Oh, and also we have the bows, which is the pink and blue. Let's set it aside so I can go ahead and show you what it would look like.
this is the pink cross and this is the blue one. The blue angel and the pink angel. Next we have the some miracles come in pairs. You won't be able to see it. Let me see if I can put it on here. Okay, there you go. We have that. Okay, that's about it for the cutouts. Now, let me go ahead and clear this section out. What I did was, since I have a few centerpieces to make, I went ahead and I put together a few of the, you know, the angels and the cross. For the actual supplies for the centerpieces, first, you need a base. I have a five by seven. I have gold glitter, Mod Podge, our glitter glue. I have the clear acrylic sealer. For the glitter I have the gold acrylic paint I have the glue dots and the 12 inch dowel rod what I do first is take a couple of the dowel rods paint them gold and then I paint the base just the bottom part in gold Then I add the Mod Podge on top of the base and add the glitter. After that dries, I let it dry like maybe for two hours. After that dries, I go ahead and spray it with the acrylic sealer and then let that sit for 24 hours. So once you have that, let's set it aside. I thought this was pretty good. This is to... To catch your glitter example when you're glittering your piece it falls in here and then you take your bottle I mean your brush you brush it and then with this little hole you can pour it back in your bottle in your glitter bottle I thought this was neat I found this at AC Moore for like five dollars next you will have your drill I'm sorry guys <laughs> your drill and the bit is 3 16 which is the same diameter as your dowel rod and then I have my glue gun let's start assembling the centerpiece what I do first is I take my, my little guy here And then what I do with the wings, I take each wing and what I do is just set it on the table like this. I set it on the table and then maybe I'll do like maybe five. You can eyeball this, you can use a ruler, you can use if you have a mat. If not, eyeball it. Let me get another one. This is pretty simple. Just a matter of having the wings not too stretched out. That way when you glue it on, you won't have no issues. Now let's go ahead and when you test it like that, you have your wings already set up. you go ahead and take your glue gun well what I do is hold it in the bottom that way my wings won't move and I'll just take my little angel flip it up add the glue as I go right here press it down and then go ahead lift the other part apply the glue and press down if you want to do that if not hold on to your angel apply the glue here and just eyeball it 
and press down. But then you have to be careful with the other wing when you go ahead and glue it on. You see, when I do this, I won't be able to see the ends. So it's best if we just leave it right here. Well, to me, works better on the mat or on the table, whichever you prefer. Remember, I give you tips and tricks. You can always do whatever is best, you know, for you. So I'll do this. I think this is way good. This is good for me. And you can flip it on the side if you want. And our glue gun is ready. I'll just go ahead and apply a generous amount of glue. Press down. Press down. And then we go on the other side and repeat the same technique. So you guys can see it better. Okay. Just move it a little bit. And we got that first one down. the angel and now you grab your halo now with the halo I won't put it on the table I'll just grab it with my fingers and I'll just test it put it this way and then what I do is add a dab of glue hold it on one side apply the glue right to the tip of it Press down right in the back of it, and the next one, repeat. Next, grab your bow. This is a flat bow, so what I do is just pour a generous amount of glue right in the middle, and we can just go ahead and place it right in the middle of the angel, press down. Now, for the bow, what I do, I don't place, I don't put no glue here because what I do is hold it in the middle and just pull it up a little bit like this. And that way the bow will, it looks like it's like a 3D bow. Okay, just lift it in the corners and there you go. Same technique for the blue angel. And this one, you just go ahead and it up okay let's set those two aside for the crowns let's bring in three pieces to the crown this is the back part this one goes on top and then this one goes on top let's go ahead first and let's take this one and apply generous amount of the art glitter glue I have the art glitter glue right here because it's easier for me to grab. Let me just take out this corner. My machine didn't cut a piece of the cross. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is apply a generous amount of glue on the sides. Be careful not to apply too much glue on the side because once you press down, it will spread all over the other piece. So just be careful. If it does spread, I suggest not using your fingers. Just take a napkin, dry napkin, of course, and you can go ahead, clean it up. Center it. Once it's centered, you go ahead and press down. Set that aside to dry, like five minutes. Take your top piece. And I'm going to add glue dots on all corners. One, two, three, four plus one in the middle. Okay, take your the upper part of that crown and you go ahead and place it right there. You center it, press down. And that's how it get, you get the 3D look on the crown. Right, I just noticed right here, it's like it has like a small little curve. Let me see. Let me lift it up a little bit and stretch it out a little bit more towards the bottom because it has like a little curve. Okay, there you go. Okay, 
and same technique for the blue cross. Once you have that, we're gonna go ahead and set it aside. Let's go ahead and take our topper and set it here. Okay, for the base, what I do is I grab my pieces and I start measuring where I want the pieces. This is optional. This is up to you how you want your pieces, how you want your cutouts to look. So what I do is I took one of the angels, right? You won't be able to see it. And first I'm going to place it here on this end, place it on the other end. Let me see if I can change. No, I'm gonna put it towards you guys. Okay, let me see if this is better. Yep, you'll be. Let me lift up the camera. Excuse me, guys. Okay. Now, towards you. See, I go ahead and measure first where I want my angels, and then I'll take a pen or pencil, a marker, and just a little small little dot, and then I will take the crown and I'll just go ahead and place it let me see right here but the crown will go all the way up here and then the next crown what I do is the same I want it right here in the corner and then I'll just go rise it up rise it up maybe up to here okay if that makes sense it'll make sense in a minute once we start putting it together now for the hose on your base what I do is just grab a ruler is wherever you want to place it I you can use a ruler then mark it with the pen like I was saying or you can use the same dowel rod and mark it with the pen whichever works for you One of the dowel rods, the 12 inch, what you're going to do is, you're gonna cut it in half. It's 12 inch, you cut it at six inch. And, and then you'll have these two. These two six inches are for the, cramp, the cross, both cross. And then this six inch, what you do is you're gonna cut it in half which is the three inches. So the three inches are for the angels. Remember, my measurements might not be the same measurements you want to use. Why I say this? Because let's say you want a smaller cross. Let's say you want a smaller angel. So your pieces will be less. This is just the, this is, these are the measurements that I'm using for this centerpiece because my base is five by seven. If I would have had a smaller base, then of course my angels would have been like maybe a two inch angel. Okay, so before we start assembling the base, let's take that out the way. The cross will have a, it will be double sided. I'm sorry guys, it will have, it'll be double sided. So what I do is grab my dowel rod. I already had marked one of these. Okay, what I do, grab the dowel rod, grab the base, I place the dowel rod where I want my cross, and then I'll just take my cross, and I'll, I go like this, and that way I'll know where to glue on the, the, the dowel rod. Once you do that, I forgot the part that <laughs> you have to go ahead, take a pen and mark the height of your cross. And then you do the same steps for your angel. Okay, let's go ahead and make these double sided. Let's go ahead and take one of the cross. Let's go ahead and do this one. Okay, let's say you already marked your doll rod, which is right here. I don't know if you guys can be able to see that pen mark. And what I do, apply the glue where the pen mark is and apply this on top. I'm just 
gonna go ahead and apply some glue on the dowel rod. After you do that, let it dry for a couple of seconds. And then what I'm going to do is seal the sides. When you seal the sides, you go ahead and apply the same technique for the pink cross. Let's set that aside. And then let's go ahead with the angel. Now, what I do is I'll just take my angel, right? Before I start assembling the, the other side, I just take my angel here and then take one of the wings because it's kind of difficult. When I say it's kind of difficult is you want your angel to match up with this side. Since the wings are pretty difficult to glue on, what I do is I first take this part of the angel, place it on the top, measure it, and then take one of the wings and start measuring it here. Because like I said, you want your angel to match up. So I'll just take that. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to glue the wing. Just the wing. Because I want that wing, well both, to be, you know, to match up. Okay, once you glue that wing on there, the rest will be pretty easy, okay? See right there, you just glue on the wing. That's what I do. Because it happened that what I did was, I made my other side and it wasn't matching. The halo wasn't matching, see? The halo doesn't match, the wing doesn't match. So I made a big mistake. So then I, what I did was, you know, I said, I said to myself, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna go ahead and glue on the wing first, the wings first, and then go piece by piece on the other side. So let me just go ahead and take the other wing, place it here. And what you're going to do is, because you already have this, you don't have to put this part on here to measure it. Just take your wing apply the glue. It'll make sense in a few. Okay, that is done. See, they all match up. Both match up. Now, once you have that, go ahead and grab your halo also and do the same technique. Match it up first. it up. Once you match it up, go ahead and apply that glue. Okay, you got that halo on. I have to apply glue right here on the top. Let me apply that glue now. Apply that glue. Pretty simple and easy project, but it's just the aligning part is that you have to be careful because you don't want your centerpieces to be looking all goofy, right? Okay, those are aligned. Okay, now you grab your little angel and you place it on top. Okay, let's place it on top. Before you glue the angel, now is where you glue on your dowel rod, which is the three inch dowel rod that we had cut. Okay, I'm trying to find the one that I measured, which is, if I'm not mistaken, this one, but I'm gonna try it again just in case. Oh, it goes, I put it on backwards. Okay, let me see if it's this one. Yep, oh, it's this one. So I marked it. Okay, take your angel and where the mark is, I'm just gonna apply the glue 
directly to the dowel rod. Okay. Okay, once you do that, you apply the glue. You go ahead and place it on your angel. Press down, let it dry for a couple of seconds. It should look like this. Now let's go ahead and grab that angel that will rest on top. Once you center your angel, start gluing it down to that piece. I'll, what I do is just hold it here, hold it here. You can set it, sit it on the table if you want. I just prefer holding it, even though it's a small piece, but this glue gun is kind of heavy. If I would have be using my other glue gun, it would have been much you know, easier to handle. I can just place it on the table and handle it better. But it's all good. Let's go ahead all around so we can go ahead and seal all the edge. Okay, there we have our double-sided angel. We go ahead and get your bow, generous amount of glue in the middle, and we place the bow right here. And we lift it, lift up, hold it in the middle, same technique, and lift up your bow. You're double sided, and let's go ahead and place it right here. Same technique for the blue angel. Okay, once you have all of your pieces, I have the blue one, they're double sided. I have the pink, I have the blue cross and I have the pink cross. Okay, what I do with the topper is, I'm still debating if I want to add a white background on the topper. If you want to add the back shadow, you already have it as I explained when we were on the computer, how to cut that uh, back shadow. If not, you can leave it as is, but make sure you that's what you want because in the back of it, look how it is. And then it's a centerpiece and they'll be looking at both sides. That's why I made this double-sided. So maybe I'll do, I, I will, sorry, add the shadow. I'm not sure yet. If I do, let's say this is the shadow and this is your wording, you just go ahead and place it on your shadow, glue it, it will be cut the same size. And then do the same technique. You place it on the back part. So let's say we're not going to do that. Okay. Take your 12 inch dowel rod. And what you do is take your topper and just glue it on one of the letters. I decided to glue it on the A. it on the topper now I'm what I'm gonna do just go ahead and take my cutouts put this aside I'm just gonna go ahead and take my cutouts and start assembling the centerpiece sorry for this glare right here I'm in a different room in the house because I'm fixing my craft room and I let's start assembling The centerpiece let me let me move my camera let me set it up at a different angle because if I start assembling like this you only see half of it I want you to see all of it completely so give me a second I'll be right back okay let's go ahead and start with the assembly now let's go ahead and place it in the first hole get the other one and place it in the second hole 
get the cross, which goes right here in the back. Second cross goes right here in the back also. Okay, and then let's take our wording and that goes right in the middle, which is the other hole. And it goes right there. Let me just go ahead and pull up the camera a little bit so you guys will be able to see the, the back part of the wording. Let's go ahead and lift it up a little bit and turn it back back okay thank you for watching thank you for your support and as usual happy crafting